Now that you've run your first scan using BSecure, let's process our results. To view your results in either Executive or DevOps mode, select your Results tab and select Summary. Summary will load a brief review of all the currently assigned scans inside your organization that you currently have access to. You can see here I have access to two explicit scans, which have both completed today. These scans have had a series of results. For example, some high vulnerabilities, some medium vulnerabilities, as well as a total and a sum total of hosts that are affected. You can click the company demo scan name to see the list of hosts that were tested, view the results from this particular scan, view the overall vulnerability information, as well as a few other options. Since I am interested in my high vulnerabilities, we will click on my high vulnerability breakout tab to load the vulnerability details of this scan. As you can see here, I have a slew of high risk issues that I must address inside my host. We can click on each individual vulnerability to pull up more details about the vulnerability, including the risk level assignment, the affected host, the affected port and protocol, as well as the date of the scan that detected this issue, the category of the vulnerability, a summary of the test data that was used to execute and determine the vulnerability exists, as well as possible solutions, CVs plus additional scoring, and more information available including the test ID, the vulnerability ID, and the vulnerability age. The vulnerability age defines when this vulnerability was first detected in our network and how long it took to remediate the issue. Now, if I would like to address these issues immediately, I can create a ticket and assign them to a specific user, so that user will have a job task assigned to remediate the issue inside our internal ticketing system. You can also accomplish this by using our mass update function, which allows us to select multiple vulnerabilities, select mass update, and assign them or modify them as needed. For example, here I can provide a priority level of critical, assign the state to open, assign a due date for the issue to be resolved, and assign a specific contact to be responsible for this ticket. I can also add commentary, and I can hit Create. Finally, creating a single ticket or a series of tickets. And that's how you process your results using BeSecure. Thanks for watching.